Hey friends, did you know that D&D is not meant for telling stories? In fact, when Gary Gygax launched Dungeons & Dragons, it was mainly based on combat and loot. Long story short, it was mainly based off of war games. War games! But as time progressed and newer editions of D&D were released, D&D has become the high fantasy standard with narrative storytelling somehow being one of the top attractions. So if D&D by nature doesn't support narratives, how can we as dungeon masters push through that? Well, there's a few things. One thing we can do is create an overarching conflict. If D&D is all about the journey, then have a big event that the journey is being played around. Maybe there's a war happening between two nations. Maybe the common folk are rebelling against their evil king. Maybe there's a festival that happens once every thousand years, so everybody's scrambling to make the best of it. Having an overarching conflict or even something just happening in the background can really build on your setting. What kind of adventures would happen because of this event? What state would the NPCs be in when the players meet them? And from there, you can insert plot hook after plot hook after plot hook and see what your players react to. Another thing we can do is focus on player backstory. I only recommend focusing on player backstories when your players themselves are down to make one. I wouldn't force it on anybody. But backstories are fun because depending on the player, they can give you a lot of things to work with. Maybe the warlock has a revenge plot. Maybe before the cleric meets the party, they're on some sort of holy mission. Maybe the rogue became an adventurer because they have horrible parents and they wanted to leave home. From there, you can take all of that backstory information and create some sort of story. And especially when you have multiple of them, you can weave them together and produce some very interesting results. Maybe the artifact that the cleric is searching for is also being pursued by the warlock's patron. Maybe the rogue's horrible parents are actually the teachers for the party wizard. It's not easy to work with backstories, especially with the different interpretations, but if the players and the dungeon master have some sort of mutual understanding, then you can create some very exciting adventures. Another way you can craft a story is where the players are building towards something. This is when the party tries to build a reputation. The game starts probably at lower levels where you are hired by X to do Y, you're being paid by Z, and there's not really a specific threat. The players are kind of just roaming around doing these standalone adventures. But then over time, the missions just get bigger and bigger along with the stakes. And the players start receiving missions that challenge their moral values. They can either go the Paragon route where they are the knight in shining armor, or maybe they go something more gray area, maybe an evil campaign if the players so choose. Lastly, one thing that we can do to craft a plot is to create a a villain. D&D is a game where the players are meant to be heroes, but every hero needs a strong villain and a nearly impossible villain to defeat. Like how Batman fought Joker, or how Superman fought Lex Luthor, so on and so forth. So how do we make a strong villain? Look at their motivations. What operations would the villain run in order to pursue that quest? Who are they working with? Where would they be? These sorts of questions. From there, you can craft encounters where the players are meeting that part of the web that your villain has created. More on that in a future video.